Miss Dante, she reads my cards, Miss Dante. 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 Hi guys, welcome back. Um, I know I have not made a video in a long time. I did make some commitments that I was gonna come through with some videos, but ever since I moved to New York, my life has been insane, literally. Like I planned everything to go a certain way and you know, it did not. I'm not complaining, you know, but I'm just being transparent with you guys and letting you guys know. Um, baddies will have liked this video, so Tribe will have put zeros in the comments, please and thank you. Um, this is gonna be a video of me talking about some things and then at the end we are gonna pull some cards as well. You are my soul tribe, so a lot of the things that I go through on a day-to-day -day basis, you go through as well. That is why you are here. That is why you clicked on this video. You know, you know, you know me and you, we right here. We be, we be going through shit. Um, first of all, I just want to say I'm proud of you because... It almost looked like you were going to jump into a specific cycle, especially to the people that were, are, were, are, were, are um, around you. You know, they thought you were going to jump in this new cycle. What do I mean by that? You know, they were thought that they thought that you were going to live this narrative. They thought that you were going to live this reality. I see that that is not the case. They're actually very shocked right now at the reality that you are living in present day is making them question their reality and what's going on in their life, you know, and how they're um, maneuvering and doing certain things, you know. All of these people are using you so heavy to reflect on whatever it is that they have going on in their life. And I know you know that. That's why you was dying for me to come up in here. He was like, Dante, please, somebody who got me, which is me. Of course I got you. Um. So, yeah, so... You know, if anything, it just gave you a better perception of yourself that you were not giving yourself, you know? So because you wasn't giving that real reality, that real perception of your life, you weren't living it, you know? You wasn't living it. You was living it to how you was living it, but you wasn't living it the way that you want to live it, you know? When people believe in God, when you believe in God, when you believe in the ultimate, superior, divine, there is nothing in the way from you, whatever's here in the 3D, to the higher dimensions where God is at. So when you pray and your intention is so direct, honey, you're, you're gonna, I don't even want to say manifest it, but you're just gonna make some shit shake. You feel me? You are going to make some shit shake, literally, because it's about your heart. Some people pray like, ah, God, please. <laughs> that get on my fucking nerves. You know, if you serve a God who is faithful, who's positive, who's strong, who created all this stuff, honey, because it is all a reflection of you, then when you pray, when you speak on things, I need your energy, I need your positive intent, I need your positive energy and I need your intention, you know, just very collected, cool, calm and collected. That's why we say that. I'm not going to go and I'm going to do something not cool, calm and collected because then the energy is not going to translate. It's going to feel rushed. It's going to feel like a fucking hot ass mess. You know, that's like when you cook quick. So, yeah, I just had to bring you back to center, you know, because sometimes we get too carried away in the world, too carried away in the 3D, when the whole purpose here is to remain foolish. Remain foolish. No matter what Jesus had, how he did it, whatever, you know, he remained foolish. He knew enough, but then he also didn't know what he knew. You know what I'm saying? He knew already, but he just decided not to know in that situation. So it was almost like a protection. You feel me? And that's kind of like that reality, you know, thing that I was going back to. They expected you to jump into a reality. They thought things were going to go a specific way. You have gagged them. You have gagged them. If anything, they believe in God 10 times more now, especially because right now I see you just being very transparent. 
you know, with your energy. In some cases, that's good. In some cases, that's bad. You know, the good cases is where people are receiving it positively. The bad cases is, you know, when people are feeling triggered, they're projecting, etc., etc. But what I want you to realize is you need to realize that this is the 3D. Of course, you, a high vibrational energy, was going to trigger lower vibes. Of course, darling. But I see the way that you played it now was chef's kiss. It gave moi, no bars, not a single bar. I don't have a single thing to tell you. I don't, I don't need to look at you. I don't need to nothing. And it's like no hard feelings. It's just like, you know, like I said, it goes back to the prayer. It's my energy. I'm looking for love. I'm looking for money. I'm looking for success. I'm looking for notoriety. How are you loving yourself? Where are you prioritizing yourself? Literally. Um, I'll tell y'all something about myself. I've always been a people person. You know, I've always um, dealt with people extremely well. But when I was younger, you know, there were times when fucking I didn't want to be around anybody. And after a while, I would judge these emotions, you know, and I felt like, fuck, you know, like it's me. There's a problem with me. Da -da 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 -da. And this was after so long of knowing that there's not a problem with me at all. So what do I do? I give the benefit of the doubt to any and all situations, you know? And what does that do? It overwhelms me. What does that do? It slows me down. What does that do? That fucks up my intent. So it's not necessarily maybe that I don't want to fuck with you, speak with you, whatever, but I have boundaries. You know what I'm saying? I have all this going on that I need to realize, you know, from your perception, even to you is not looking possible. You know, to them, it's not even looking possible at all because they not set up like you. To you, you like, if I could just get three seconds to walk by that bitch over there and she see me in this outfit, she going to tap me in the shoulder and she going to give me that job, you know? And those are intentional people. Those are intentional people. So I repeat, you know, it looked like you was heading into one reality. And now the reality that you're entering into, you're already in it. It's like, what? Not even you can believe it. Not even they can believe it. But you, they believe it more than you. That's weird to say. They believe it more than you. They've already settled into it more than you. Not necessarily that, you know, they was trying to confuse you, but they were going to play along or go with whatever, you know. And for that, I don't think you should get mad because everything around you is a reflection of yourself in the matrix. So everything is about how you respond to it. And that's something that I keep needing to remind myself. Like, Dante, your reaction counts for a lot, even when it's nothing. You know, you're choosing where you want to place your energy and what energy you're willing to give at that time. It's crazy. In this whole trip, I keep pulling um, a card for myself. And the card that I keep getting is the world. And I love it because the world means completion. It means fulfillment. It means you have realized a journey. It means you know what's important. So you're maintaining it. You're tending to it, you know? Pick a few cards for us. But yes, I'm in Miami. It's my first time in Miami. I'm very excited. God knows how much I wanted to come. Uh, my birthday is March 31st. Um, oh shit. Y'all look. The Phantom Elefante hats just dropped for this spring, summer, the rest of your life. Um, they're now $50. Um which I'm going to call it at bphantom.com if you want to get one. And just because it's you, I'm going to hook you up, bitch. So if you DM me on Instagram, I'll give it to you for $20 with shipping included just because it's you. If you miss what I just said, then girl, get your half $50. I don't, I don't care. You know, I just wanted to hook somebody up that maybe doesn't want to spend $50, but they still want, you know, a phantom hat. Um, Yes. barely smoked today. I needed to roll up. Mm. 
You see? I see you backtracking. You're like, fuck, if I would've did this, this would've happened, and this would've happened, and this would've happened. The best thing you did was keep your hands clean. Keep your hands clean. It's like if everybody in the class was telling you to cheat, and you ain't cheat, and you got such a good grade. It's making you look like even better. It's making you look like stellar, literally. I see you healing a lot right now. Just where you are in the 3D, where you are emotionally, you're, you're healing. Why are you healing? Because you have understanding of previous situations. You're able to sit down, think, meditate into those situations. And now because you're in a better conscious, I always say this, I always repeat the same shit, but you know, <laughs> y'all love the diva. Um, forgot what I was gonna say, bitch, you see, you see. But yeah, now that you're in this conscious, you know, it's easy to revisit that energy. You maybe could go through something at six years old and it might hit you worse when you are 11. So a part of you, spiritually, physically, you know, needs to go back and address that situation in here. That's why they say the only way is in. Because when you fix this, it fixes everything. There's always going to be turmoil. We're in the 3D. That's why God chose you. That's why God has you here. You are to be a vessel of positive energy, a vessel of peace. But just because you are a vessel of positive energy doesn't mean that you better sit here and take all this energy. Now you know this, which is the reason why you are in this reality. For me, I'm just breaking it down to you because I want you to know exactly what happened, exactly what you did, exactly why it's working out. Look at that. Bad bitch. 51st flow. Eating hibachi. You feel me? See, you just ecstatic. Ecstatic. Naturally. And it's not even ecstatic for any reason. You're just doing what you want to do. You know? Everybody had to stay in class, you know, and do some homework. But not you. You got to leave. You got to do what you wanted. They was like, fuck it, you know? We called your mom already. She's actually outside. She about to take you to Disney World. And you like, what? Girl, that's crazy. But the thing is, whole time, I just said, you've been doing your homework. You've been studying. You've been in the gym. You've been getting ready for this reality. They've been seeing you every day with your clothes on. They had no idea what you look like with them clothes off. So now they're like, oh shit, they had an idea. And you had an idea. But now even you, even you is like, oh fuck. You know, I love it. You moving beautifully. I need you to stay in the state of mind. I need you to keep your mind cool. There's nothing really you should change right now. You've been very organized, how you've been delegating, how you've been handling your business. And I see like even today or the previous day, you even told yourself like, wow, like I'm so calm. I'm not mentally bothered. I don't feel no like pressure on me. None of that. Literally. There is a promotion on the brink, my darling. It's going to be a lot of people congratulating you. Literally. Literally within these next two weeks congratulating you i keep seeing these people around you but it's like they're wanting to like express themselves to you they're wanting to bring some topics and opinions to the table but it's nothing that's going to be shady or bad everything is going to add to you literally last one wow that's how you know god's will be done god's will be done god's will be done and that's why people get confused about you is that you do this. They like, oh, what the fuck, this nigga, you know, with their weird ass practices and shit, you know? I was about to drop some tea, I can't even tell y'all, literally, but that's how you know I'm lit. Um, because I haven't seen y'all in a while, we're actually going to do an around the wheel. Um, happy Pisces season, we're going to go around the wheel. We're going to pull one card for each sign. 
we're gonna pull one card for each sign. All right, Pisces. Y'all, make sure you timestamp these for me, please. Um, whoever does it, I would really appreciate it. And so will everybody else. Pisces. Pisces, I see you're trying to focus on work, but there's like a specific situation that's like not necessarily distracting you, but it's like you're getting, I don't want to, I don't know, inspired or motivation. It's something along those lines. It's making you want to change the way that you are doing business. You're like, okay, so this is the process onto which I have done everything. Now, I don't want to do it like that. I want to do it different, literally. Aries, wow, Aries. Aries, you about to be looking brand new. It's giving new body, new titties, new car, new nigga, new dick, new job. It's giving new, you're getting a promotion, Aries, for your birthday, baby. Next, we have Taurus. Taurus, your spiritual side is going to strengthen. You and God are about to have a closer connection, you know? Not necessarily saying, Taurus, that God has been absent, but God is just about to be in your life more. There's going to be more values in your life, more integrity. There's going to be a law of values that you're going to live by. Gemini, Gemini, I see you in between two worlds. So you miss the way something was. Everything is changing so fast. You're like, fuck, well, damn, I guess. You feel this new reality. Hm. Cancer, Cancer, my darling, you've been waiting for this moment. You like, finally, bitch, finally. It's like you were sitting on such a good offer, but the offer wasn't really valid until now. The offer wasn't seen as something valuable until now. Um, Leo, Leo, I see you over a specific situation. You're just over it. There is a pending um, outing, a pending conversation that is needed to be had between you and somebody else. Even though you are over the situation, this is going to be very healing for you. There's going to be a lot of emotional understanding and there's going to be a lot of justice, baby girl. Next we have um, Virgo. Virgo, Virgo, I see you doing what is right. I see you doing what is right in this month. You're doing what is right. You're stepping up to the plate. And honestly, God is very pleased with that. And honestly, God has been waiting for you to do that. God is about to help you so much with this situation, you know? I see you naturally are preparing yourself to give this so much, mm, but really it's gonna go way better, way more harmonious. There's really gonna be no issues within this situation at all. Um, next we have Libra. Libra, I see right now you care too much about how people fucking with you, you know? Not saying that you need to be an asshole, but you need to do things because you want to do them you understand not because you have to please that person because then that's going to put you in an energy where you're not going to have boundaries and you're going to be spent and you're going to be over it literally next we have scorpio i love i know that's right i love this scorpio i love this for you Ooh, you'd be scaring me scorpio scorpio i see you finally getting an idea an idea I see you bringing all the resources together around this idea. But at the same time, you know, I see you listening to God. That's why it's like you're finding all the nuts and berries in the right places. So when you go back home and you bake that cake, motherfuckers are gonna be like, where the fuck did you get that? You know? Right now, overall, you do know that you're playing a role. You are staying silent about that role you are playing. And you know, right now you just wanna do what is right and you wanna keep the energy correct. I love it. Um, next we have Sagittarius. Oh my God, Sagittarius at last. Sag, I see you have been the elephant in the room within a specific situation. You just been standing there looking like a pile of shit. It's time for you to face the noise, you whack ass bitch. 
you're thinking about it too much. You're in a club thinking. That makes no sense, babe. Please don't be thinking in no club. You feel me? You go to the club, even if it kill you, even if it kill you, even if it kill you. And the thing that be killing me with you is, bitch, you is a pessimistic ass bitch. I gotta say that. You gotta believe in God. You gotta be strong. Your spirituality could be stronger. You need to give people the benefit of the doubt, honey. You're not always going to control the situation to exactly what you want it to be. You know, my darling, you gotta dance. Dance. I might feel awkward when I start this dance, but guess what? The more I dance, I'm gonna feel comfortable. I'm not gonna care. That energy is gonna spread out. And guess what? People who dance, energies like me, they're gonna gravitate towards me. You feel me? They're gonna be with me. You need to switch the way you think. You feel me? You need to take Pisces as example. Cause it's crazy how Pisces subconsciously is like, okay, I gotta get ready for a different strategy, a different move, a different routine. You know, I can't do things the same way. And here you are. You know what I'm saying? You, you, it, it's all well, it's all within timing, but I'm wanting to show you what has kept you as the elephant in the room. Because you've always had this lightning, honey. You just decided. I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking about it too much. I need you to dance. I need you to throw that ass. If you got titties, throw them. You got dick, throw them. You got ass, throw them. You got problems, throw them. You know, you got negative energy, throw it. You know, let the positive energy be. Because the truth is and will always be. Literally. Mm. My mouth is dry than a motherfucker. Y'all, I had a few drinks today. I had a bottle of champagne yesterday. So I am very, you know, doing this message. But, you know, that is the full energy. And, you know, I just want to keep it a buck with you. Because you're my family. Yes. And I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for... God especially, you know, but, you know, we've all played a role in each other's lives. Not that that makes me or you the craziest priority. No, bitch. All I'm saying is connect the dots. You know, if you see God in me, I'm a reflection of you. <laughs>